Hi, folks. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Um, and uh, thanks for coming. This is a pretty big crowd for 9 o'clock in the morning. So, uh, so basically, um, let's see, do I have this right? Yes. Um, this is uh, Valerie Aurora. Um, she is uh, uh, helping us with the conference setup uh, and uh, the unconference piece of this especially. Um, and has been uh, in incredibly helpful as we've been in the last minute scramble to get everything figured out here. So um, first two days, meetings, like we all know how much you love sitting there and, be and waiting through a presentation and doing your email during a, a meeting. So you've got two days for that. So this is how I feel about meetings. Uh, I love a good meeting. This, when I'm done with one, it, I feel energized and like I want to run down the street and it's kind of embarrassing, right? Uh, and so I've done a lot of work to try to uh, help make the meetings that you have in the next two days be, make you feel more like this than like this. So uh, uh, we, I'll be going through a bunch of different little tools that uh, later on uh, after Rob talks some more about um, other areas. Yeah, so that's the first two days. And then, um, as uh, Rachel said, the third day, uh, everybody is invited to go to the office. And uh, uh, it'll be a little bit of pandemonium, but it'll be fun. Um, so the agenda. Um, basically, we, uh, we, came, we have been, uh, as everybody here who's been participating in the, uh, in the process knows, it's been, a, uh, it's been kind of a crazy process, but I think we've got a great agenda for you here, and we'll let's, we'll we'll see we'll see how it plays out. The um, the way that we did it was we broke things up into uh, 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 we we broke things up into areas, and and yes, by the way, um, yeah, we we also have the unconference uh, part of this is a pretty big part of this. So basically, we've got. Uh, Robertson 1 here and Robertson 2, that is mostly scheduled. And then um, there are three unconference rooms. And what you need to do is uh, uh, you need to start editing that now. So we're not going to be offended if you are on your laptops like doing work because if you're scheduling an unconference session, yes, you're doing the right thing. Um, it, it's going to be starting here very shortly at, uh, 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 at 10 o'clock. So, um, so that's uh, that's what's going on in parallel with the two main track sessions. So the two main tracks, um, oh yes, go ahead. Um, so I just want to talk for like for all of the sessions, both the unconference and the main track sessions. I really want to emphasize that everyone came. A, a lot of people came a long ways here. We burned a lot of pounds of carbon. There's <laughs> probably less ice at the North Pole, and I really want to encourage you to make the best use of your time here. Uh, and so I just have a, a short story from uh, my time as a Linux kernel developer. Obviously, we're, also, we're in a very similar situation, being all over the world and most of the time only being able to communicate by uh, uh, email or, if we're lucky, uh, a phone call or a video conference. Uh, so what we once had uh, 70 people at the File System Summit um, that I helped organize. And somebody stood up to give a presentation. He worked on this presentation really hard. He was proposing a major change to the VFS uh, system. And he was ready for a fight, right? Because every time he talked about it on the mailing list, someone had some sort of nitpicky thing to say. Uh, so he proposed the thing, it got done, and then he was like, all right, bring it on. And everyone just nodded their heads yes. It was 70 people in that room going, rrr, rrr. and that's invisible on the internet, right? So that's the kind of thing, that's one example of the sort of thing that can happen at an event like this if you're using your time well. I um, mean, the other thing to do with it is that uh, uh, you have, in this kind of face-to-face -face discussion, you have a lot more information and you have a lot more back and forth. So you can very quickly clear up differences of opinion or misunderstandings. So if you can, as much as possible, keep things in a discussion format, uh, that's a better use of your time here than sitting and listening to something that you could hear uh, uh, get out of a, um, a video uh, session. So, uh, And I just want to say uh, we really want um, to, as part of that, limit the presentation part of any session uh, to no more than 20 minutes. You don't need to have 20 minutes of presentation. You can have zero minutes of presentation, especially for the unconference sessions. But again, this is about um, making the most of the time that you have here. So, okay, now the areas. 
Yes, and by the way, don't don't make us embarrass you. Like let's 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 really try to uh, um, uh, let, let's try try to stick with this. And I know, I know there's a lot of you that have uh, bigger things present, uh, bigger things put together. But think about like what you need to present. Um, so what we did when we were uh, in the process of scheduling all of this is we. Uh, we figured out what the areas of specialization were um, in the various, like what, what were the problems that people were trying to solve with the various um, uh, conference proposals and then group them into areas. And we're hoping that what we'll see is a self-organizing uh, group of people around each of those areas. Um, and we're, uh, um, we're, I should, you know, self-organizing maybe is a little bit strong. I'm going to be nudging uh, very uh, strongly, but, uh, but I, I hope that these areas survive past the summit. So um, uh, they, they seem, they, they, just in my brief experience with them, they seem like the right things. Um, so the first area is collaboration. How do we work together? How do we make it so that people can edit the software that we have on our site in the same way that they edit the pros on Wikipedia or edit any of the uh, uh, any of the rest of the site, we want to make it so that we have the, the you know just as many people in there monkeying around with the site itself. Um, another area is uh, software engineering. So this is more this is a very similar area to collaboration in that we want to make sure that uh, everything makes sense. But this is about like how do we do it? How how is it put together? What is the, um, uh, does this all make sense? Like if somebody comes here and then, you know, it's crazy town when they get here, they may want to go someplace else to learn about how to do proper um, software development. So we want, we want this, we want our software to be good. Um, and then user interface, interface presentation. So this is, this is basically the, um, the equivalent of the front end standards group. This is uh, how do we make how do we make our software really usable and really a joy to use um, and makes you productive and makes you want to keep using it. Um, and so uh, it's about improving the usability of our software and and the user experience of our software. Um, and then content access. Um, this is about actually getting. How do we get data in and out of the system? So it's not about the, the, the formats of the data, but it's about just, just the mechanisms that we use for caching, the mechanisms that we use for backing it up, the, um, the, the, uh, maybe some of the backup formats would, would go into the content access and APIs area. And then finally, the content format, this is the, this is the foundation of it all. This is where the, um, this is the format that the data itself is in, and that's what we're looking for to, um, uh, like as people are modifying uh, the content of our website, we want to make sure that that is a, a, um, uh, a, a sensible, it's in a sensible format, it's one that we're able to build great new features and great new software on top of. So. Um, All right, so that's what you'll be talking about. And then uh, I'm going to go over some uh, t tips for uh, having a better discussion and enjoying your meetings and coming out of your meetings with a, a smile on your face. So, Oh, uh, and just very quickly, um, uh, there's the, a section that includes all of this stuff on the, the meeting wiki right there. OK, so uh, <laughs> there are. Uh, two major tools to make all of the sessions run better. Uh, they're especially important for the unconference sessions, but they'll make all of all of the sessions go better. The first one is the session checklist, uh, which it just lays out the basic things to do in each session. I won't go over it here because it's printed out in in every room, uh, but it'll just be like, hey, what are we supposed to do? Oh, look at the session checklist. Session checklist. Uh, there's four roles that. Um, make for a good meeting. You know that, I don't know if you've ever had a good meeting. Uh, if, have you ever had a good meeting? Raise your hand. All right, okay, this is good. I recently did a Twitter poll and it was a much smaller percentage of people. Uh, so there's, good meetings are not magic. There's actually roles that people take on that make them be great. 
Uh, and they are the gatekeeper, facilitator, the scribe, and the timekeeper. And I'll go over each of those in slightly more detail, but they're also printed on these roll cards um, in each room. So at the beginning of each session, physically pick up the roll cards and get people to uh, take a roll by taking the card and looking at it. And then it has instructions for what to do on it. Um, if the roll cards are not about like, okay, now there's only one person who can be the facilitator, one person who can take notes. Uh, it's just about making someone feel like they're responsible. If, they're, if that person is uh, speaking or distracted or otherwise unable to do their job, go ahead and, and jump in. Feel you have, are invited to jump in and do it as well. Uh, take over until they can uh, do the job again. So. Uh, so the gatekeeper is, in my opinion, the most important uh, role. It is the person who Make sure pe everyone gets a chance to be heard and that you're spending your time well. So specifically, the gatekeeper interrupts people who have been speaking too long. At an event like this, it's probably somewhere around two to five minutes is too long. Uh, they also, this is very important, they help people who have difficulty speaking get a chance to speak. Often, even someone who doesn't even look like they're trying to speak has something great to say and can like completely summarize what's happened and move the meeting forward. It's really fantastic. Uh, so sometimes, the interesting thing about being a gatekeeper is you have to be comfortable with interrupting people. This often means the gatekeeper is very comfortable with talking for a long time, too. So if the gatekeeper is speaking to, for too long, feel free to jump in and be like, hey, Maybe someone else should have a get some time. Uh, and also, I want to say it's also difficult for the gatekeeper to do this job. So if you're an influential person who has a lot of respect in the community, um, make it easy for the gatekeeper to do their job. Pay attention to how long you're speaking and try to stop yourself uh, at two to five minutes. Okay, the facilitator. Um, this is the person who's uh, uh, guiding the meeting through its goals. Uh, this is more important for the unconference sessions where it's unclear what the goal is, perhaps, at the beginning. And that's one of the things you need to do is figure out what, what the goal of that session is, how you're going to get there. Uh, so this is um, also, also on the wiki. Uh, but there's these general types of sessions, and you want to be clear about which one you're having. Uh, probably you're going to be having one of the first three, which are problem solving, which is surveying a bunch of problems. Uh, a straw man, which is going into depth on a specific problem or a solution to a problem. Or field narrowing, deciding which of the solutions you're going to follow, uh, take further. You're unlikely to have consensus type meetings here where people decide on a thing going forward because that you don't necessarily have the people in the room who need to do that. Uh, the other kind is education, which is just giving people information about something that's already been decided. Um, so uh, the facilitator should be the person using the, the session checklist and um, making sure all the things on it are getting done. Okay, the scribe. I, the scribe is also very important. I put S in there because scribes, uh, because uh, often one note taker can't keep up with things. It's great to have multiple note takers. We're using Etherpad, we can do that. So uh, the notes are really important. Having good notes are really important to continuing what we did today into the future. You really wanna feel like what you spent your time on here is paying off and is not wasted. And the, an important way to do that is to create notes. So uh, we've created a, a, note, um, a notes template that includes the major things you should probably be thinking about, uh, like including the fabricator task that's related to it. Um, it's on the etherpad, and you can copy it into a new etherpad. And that's on the, the uh, roll card for the scribe. Uh, uh, and just, just a reminder, etherpads are public to the world. So don't say mean things about people on them. OK. Uh, timekeeper. Uh, this is uh, also important, the, especially because we have such wonderful long sessions. It could be easy to get distracted and not realize uh, that you've only talked about the first, you know, 20 percent of what you wanted to talk about in your 80-minute session, right? So the timekeeper's job is, as the facilitator identifies, hey, we're going to talk about X, Y, and Z. The timekeeper figures out, like, hey, if we want to talk about Z today, we should be done with X in 10 minutes and Z in 20 minutes, and then we'll have time. And then you remind people that time is going by. Like, hey, it's been 10 minutes. Do we want to move on to the next thing? Do we want to wrap this up? And uh, paying attention to, and reminding people when there's only five to 10 minutes left in the session. So those are the four roles that help people have really good meetings. Uh, and you'll, if you do all of these things and use the roll cards, hopefully you'll have a great meeting and be excited about these uh, two days. So, very, um, so here's some general discussion guidelines that are about how you 
how you speak. This was a bunch of stuff about the structure of speaking, and this is about like your individual sentences. So, um, a so I'll start out with uh, uh, discussion guidelines around talking about gender. Um, the word, the vocabulary to use for for people of particular genders is say men, women, and or people of all genders. Um, don't use girls for women over 18 years of age. Uh, don't use female females. It's dehumanizing. Uh, don't use guys for a mixed gender group. Um, there's a bunch of great words for that. Folks, people, all y'all, everybody. Uh, don't use body parts to refer to people of gen specific genders. You know, uh, but it doesn't work, A and B. Um, it's not that clever. Uh, and say trans people if, for people whose gender is different than that assigned at, at, at birth. So uh, coming to race, class, and family role. Uh, don't use ethnic or urban to mean people of a particular race. Use people of color to refer to people who aren't white. Uh, don't make generalizations based on race, like because they have the, they are, a person is of this race, they must have this religion or this food or speak this language, right? Uh, don't use stereotypes about people with specific types of jobs. This often comes up, especially in usability discussions. Uh, um, let's remember there are a lot of people of all different jobs who are editing Wikipedia, things like that. Uh, and don't use stereotypes about parents or caretakers, like, you know, so easy your mom could use it. Uh, just needs to never be said again. Um, okay. Uh, or, or about their, whether they're caretakers or their age, things like that. Um, uh, grandmother is also unacceptable. <laughs> okay. And just a reminder that um, for s specific to Wikimedia stuff, um, to uh, uh, remember that people might not know all the acronyms that you're using uh, and be willing to quickly uh, explain them if someone asks. Uh, this is a good role for the gatekeeper to jump in and ask, hey, does everyone understand that? Okay, summary. Use the roll cards. Uh, use the session checklist. Uh, especially for the unconference session, but for all the sessions, um, leave or join con the sessions at will. It's a, it's, once you walk into a room, you're not committed. You can be like, whoa, not the session I want, thought I wanted to be in, and leave and go somewhere else. That's totally acceptable. Uh, uh, remember, uh, if you're an influential person who has um, a lot of respect in the community, uh, please self-monitor and try not to uh, dominate the conversation. Uh, remind people of the discussion guidelines if you see them going off track. And uh, just another reminder, um, report anything that uh, violates the friendly space policy if, if you feel it's important. So we take that very seriously. All right, and just a reminder, here's the, um, the wiki page. <laughs>